Hey everyone, in this video, we will look at how to create bins in Power BI. So I'll just go and select, um, I'll select, select a histogram. So we'll, let's just work with the histogram here. And I'll just select the sales amount. And I will say the date. And what I want is full date alternate key. So I'll select this from the date dimension and I'll put it here in the shared axis. And let me just convert this as a date and not a date hierarchy. And you can see that we, we've got data here and this is how the data is getting displayed from, let's just put this in focused mode and remove the filter. So we've got data from 2011 onwards till 2014 and you can see. Now let's say in this histogram we want to have um, we want to create bins like this is there's just too much information here and we want to say club some days together so we could club those days together so right click on this one shared axis and click on new group and it opens this groups option for you and it's saying that group type is bin and size of bins and we do how many bins do we want so I can say I want a bin to have three days and click OK and you can see it's it's showing us the so the bins have become bigger let's just change this size again and you will get an idea in place of one day I will put in 10 days maybe and hit OK here and you can see now that our bins are there's just not too much information we can start making some form of sense out of this and let's just go again and in place of say 10 we'll just say 20 days that my bin will have 20 days so you can see here that we can change the bin size and make our uh, histogram look different similarly you can go into the edit groups and you can say in, in place of size of bins you can say number of bins and i want let's say i want 100 bins and hit OK. This doesn't seem to have done much. Let's say we want uh, 10 bins. So it's, let's just go again here and say 1000 bins. So this is an interesting one. It's depending on the size we set, the, the number of bar graphs that we've got increases or decreases. So something to go ahead and play with. What I will do is I will share this file with you in uh, the Git repository so you can go and download and explore this concept. I hope you find this uh, video useful and thanks for watching. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching this video. And please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.